we're back and we're almost home. And I thought we would share a little bit about the experience of taking delivery on your motorhome. This is our first motorhome, so we took like two hours, but I'm sure if you've had a motorhome before, it wouldn't take so long, but we, our, pre, our trailer didn't have slides, uh, we didn't have a generator, some other features that were new to us, so we had a great uh, guide. Uh, his name was Ken at Mike Thompson RV in, where were we at, Santa Fe Springs? Santa Fe Springs. Santa Fe Springs. Um, took time to show us everything. So you should definitely, if you're, you know, first time, have at least two hours, and I would say more than two hours, really, because if you take two hours just for your walkthrough, then we took a little extra time to set up the mirrors and just feel comfortable in driving it. So we. You should, you should expect to have some things need fixing, and we had read that on blogs, so, so it wasn't a big deal, we didn't get upset, you know, we just made a list of things that would need to be fixed that are under warranty, so when we come back, hopefully in a few weeks, we can have that, all that service, plus I know it's recommended that you take a trip fairly soon after you get your motorhome. So next weekend will be our shakedown trip and we've chosen a place that's close to home that we're familiar with. I think that's important that you don't try to like take your first trip to somewhere you've never been in really far just in case things go wrong. So this is a place close to home and we've been there and we'll check everything and set up the interior and do that next weekend. Maybe I'll take a video of that. So some of the things that needed to be fixed are um, our, our front. Actually, there were, I think the slide is not adjusted properly because the tiles on the floor were all indented and so the technician said that means the slide has to be adjusted. So the tiles have to be replaced and the slide has to be adjusted. And the switch on the couch, the side couch was not so That's right. There's we have an L-shaped sofa, and so the part that extends out to make the L, there's a, a latch on it to kind of lock it in place, and that was broken. So that part has to be ordered. Um, what else? We're missing there? a letter in the front. Oh yeah. So instead of saying Allegro Open Road, we're Allegro Open Ode, Ode right now. No big deal. Again, I think if you're just prepared so that you don't freak out and think, why is all this uh, wrong? You just know that something's will You just plan that you're going to come back in a few weeks and have whatever needs to be serviced. serviced so, Oh, do you want to talk about the um, the great thing that happened with the slide? Let's, you have to talk probably loud, babe. When Ken was showing us how the slide worked he didn't put the chair up far enough so when the slide came back in it caught on the back of the driver's seat and so, tore off one of the fascias. So this whole fascia I'm scanning down actually ripped completely off. Uh, again it was it was like you know what if, if, if they if you can see they fixed it. They, can, they fixed it right there. Yeah. He said he was glad it happened with him because some people it happens to them when they're not paying attention. So now we're aware and we have to watch for that. Right. It probably.
probably would have happened to us on our first trip. I'm sure we would, and then we probably would have been all upset, but since we were there, fixed it. Was there anything else you needed fixing? Nope. I think the lesson is because you're going to be not knowing to look for that because we would be focused on where's the switch for the slide and oh just push that and see how that works and not looking at you have to make sure you're clearing spaces and things like that so it helped us to know any of the systems we're going to try out we have to look not only at what we're trying to do but think ahead about some things that might be in the way or something's going to move into a place where you're not thinking just things like that so your your driver's side should be forward before you do your slides. Is the lesson. Also, we should talk about setting up just your key reference points so that you know how much room do you have ahead of you. Kind of where's the side of the RV compared to where you're sitting. Where's the side compared to the passenger? So we. I saw some great videos about making reference points. So I have a visual point here that I know that's on the line here. That's pretty much where I want to be. And I have one over here that's that's on the line. So Susan had to come in and put it there. We lined it up and had to kind of put a marker point outside so that we knew exactly where the line would be. Take some measuring and lining up and then you kind of start to get the feel of is it in the middle and your mirrors of course are things that you're constantly checking to see if you're where you think you are in your lane but it's really not that difficult and it's not too overwhelming very yeah. sturdy easy drive i think uh, that it's a good idea to watch some of those videos points and how to drive. I mean, this is a pretty straightforward drive for us. It's not crazy yet, so. And I know that we've seen some videos about people complaining about noise and, you know, getting a gas. So I don't think it's, this, this is not noisy. I can't, I can't only speak for this one. This is, again, a Tiffin Allegro 31 SA. It's actually 33 feet long. So, I don't think it's too, I don't think it's too noisy. 